It is the 13th of the 3rd, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Well, let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Louisiana, 15 inches of rain in 5 hours. States of emergency were forced Tuesday for, for four Louisiana parishes after torrential rain left homes and roads under several feet of water. Hundreds fled their homes and dozens of motorists had to be rescued. And uh, we all know the story. Study shows Monsanto's Roundup ravaging butterfly populations. Here is another pollinating insect that is very important to our food chain. Over to the extinction protocol, Japan's Sacagawea uh, volcano experiences its most violent eruption in three years. Uh, continued its second day of violent eruptions on Tuesday, spewing hot rocks of ash, but there were no major damages in the vicinity. The Japanese uh, Meteorological Agency said the agency said uh, Monday's powerful eruption was the most forceful since 2009. The volcano is located in the southern prefecture and um, added that the volcano has been erupting steadily for, it for the last two years, but the eruption on Monday turned violent throwing 50 centimeters or a uh, foot and a half rocks nearly a mile and a half away of uh, the furthest since 2009. And of course they have live cams on this volcano and everything. Northeast and Midwest United States flirt with record high temperatures. My front door is open. Can you hear the birds? Temperatures soared to record highs in the northeast on Monday after a weekend of record-setting warmth across the Upper Plains and forecasts for unprecedented extended warm front this week. And we are truly enjoying it here in Des Moines, Iowa. Uh, the National Weather Service said in Boston temperatures reached a record 71 degrees on Monday afternoon, eclipsing the former high of 69 degrees for this date set 110 years ago. Um... The unseasonably warm weather was expected to continue in Boston throughout the week, but likely not uh, record-setting temperatures, said Bill Simpson. The Weather Service meteorologist um, based in Massachusetts, temperatures also soared on Monday afternoon in New York City to the record 71 degrees in Central Park, uh, blah, blah, blah. It's just, you know, unseasonably very mild and warm here um, in the United States and uh, southern Canada. And I'll attach a link to the live jet stream simulation, and you can literally see how the how the circle is swing towards Russia, and that's why they're getting all the severe weather in uh, Europe and in Asia, and uh, we are unseasonably warm here. Uh, we're calling it the winter that never was. Over to the watchers, a new tropical cyclone, Lua, L-U-A, moving slowly off the. Pilbara Coast in Australia, uh, that's um, Western Australia on the like the northwest coast. A new tropical cyclone has formed in Australia on March 13th. Tropical Storm Lua was located at 8 p.m. west uh, west south 8 p.m. WST near 18.5 south 11:14. Uh, anyway, they put out the coordinates for it. And Lucia uh, lies well north of the West Pilbria coast and expected to slowly intensify and drift northwards for the next 24 hours. So as uh, this one heading off to Madagascar as well, um, they got a story Japan one year after mega quake, more than 19,000 lives lost, 1.2 million buildings damaged, and $574 billion in damage. That's just the estimates so far, the official numbers. Uh, got another prominence eruption and CME impact uh, happened on the 12th. This one's not earth directed, um, but the sun's putting off a pretty good show right now. Over to the RSOE, uh, we've got severe flash flooding in Chile, um, extreme rain, that kind of thing. Uh, of course, the Louisiana rain. Uh, flooding continues in Australia, and uh, they're dealing with their state of emergency. Um, the volcano eruption in Japan. Uh, forest fires in Costa Rica. They're saying these ones are arson set, but there's like three big national parks on fire. Uh, talking like it's going to take over 30 years to recover kind of thing. And uh, flash flooding in Papua New Guinea. 
Uh, they're saying in Spain and on the multi-prime provinces, they've, they've had a mild and dry winter as well. They're saying their forest fire season is starting early, and they're hoping for a wet spring. And um, the Colombian volcano reported on yesterday um, that's gearing up and people are waiting for this thing to uh, have a, an eruption. They're holding drills actually to help people get ready to evacuate. A big hailstorm in Sicily. Uh, the entire citrus crop was destroyed. Um, they're saying it's the worst one they've, they've ever seen kind of thing. Um, like I said, entire crops are destroyed, greenhouses, the whole bit. And um, they're really in a lot of trouble down there. And finally tonight, uh, over to the nuclear stuff, e, &E News. I'm just going to blast out the headlines. Science writer, science websites actively contributed to biased misinformation on Fukushima. Reporting leaves impression it's over and under control. Public will only be informed in order to avoid panic. I got another report, Fukushima worker. There is radiation that is coming from the ground, quote unquote. There are no rights being observed at the moment. So they don't have any personal rights at all. Uh, off the Economist, nuclear power, a dream that failed. Promise of global transformation gone. Concern over sa safety, finances, previously concluded industry, safe as a chocolate factory. Who came up with that one? PBS NewsHour, cesium killed pine trees as far as you can see. Are there animals that can live here? No, no. And there is a video. I'm still pissed off about their their report on the Fukushima incident and their fluff of that situation. Miles O'Brien interview, government should apologize and evacuate citizens right away. Uh, Mayor, decontamination is impossible, but should be done anyway. Report, Mayor says Tokyo citizens were irradiated. Um, another story, I just spoke to a doctor in Ukraine. There is a tremendous epidemic of thyroid cancer there. The doctor even had thyroid cancer, and they have a video attached to that. And uh, Arnie Gunderson on CTV, the country of Japan is contaminated. Just routine checking an area here and there in Tokyo found all sam samples to be radioactive waste if they were here in the United States. Uh, Gunderson on RT, all five samples I took in Tokyo qualified as radioactive waste. People should never return to some area 60 kilometers from Fukushima. you got to remember this plutonium and the stuff is going to be here for a very, very, very long time. And uh, that's about all new they really have tonight. So enjoy while you can, everybody. It is absolutely beautiful here today. I'm going to spend it outside.